Hey, I'm Chris Zeff from Make Everything. We're here at my property in upstate New York, and today we're gonna to talk about the shed and the carport that we put up this past weekend. Check it out. All right, so for those of you who've been following along, I bought this six and a half acre property up here uh, near East Durham, New York, a couple years ago. And over the course of the two years, I've been kind of figuring out what I'm gonna do, talking to excavators about knocking down the derelict house that's here and thinking about the ways that I'm gonna develop the land. Um, last year during COVID, we took down this metal shed, which actually belonged to my late father. Uh, this was sort of his little workshop at the house that we lived in for the last 15 years. And when we needed some room in the yard, it only seemed fitting to take it down and relocate it. So it's a flat pack shed. So we brought this up uh, from Long Island. And then the carport over here to the right, we actually went to a local sawmill and we picked up some rough sawn material and banged this thing together. My buddy Macklin came up, who you've seen in some of the other videos, and he helped me uh, get this thing up and it came out great. So basically the purpose of this is just to house the skid steer and keep it from just totally getting soaked and having it wrapped in the tarp, which is what I had previously, was just allowing a lot of moisture to get to it, and I don't really want it to get destroyed. Um, it was garage kept its whole life for the last 35 years, so I wanna keep it nice. All right, so let's get into it. I'll show you guys how we put together this shed, spread about 15 yards of shale, and built this carport all over in the matter of two days, minus some rain.
productive day up here. So there's a particular importance to this shed. This was my dad's shed when we moved from the South Shore of Long Island to the North Shore. We didn't have a garage. So he bought these sheds like probably a month after we moved into the house. And he worked out of this shed for like 15 years, just like doing odds and ends. And uh, it rotted out a little bit on the bottom, but that's no big deal. We took it down to make room in my mom's yard and I thought I needed to bring it up here. So tomorrow we spread all this shale today. Mac was running the skid steer most of the day, putting this down. We got about 14 yards this morning. And tomorrow we're gonna be uh, building a carport for the machine right in between those two trees. It's gonna be a great time, right, Mac? That's Let's right. Go. Let's go. It's been a long, long day. been raining for the last hour we just had a tarp up there we're gonna attempt to get this done now because it looks like the rain's passed for now but it's supposed to come back so we're uh, gonna shoot this with the little action camera so let's try to get this roof on We got ourselves a roof, except we just broke the stapler. So there's that. Oh, we got roofing nails. Nice. The edge gets roofing nails. The, the, the first couple courses just got staples. That's it. That's it. <laughs> Nice. Oh, he's got to hold on. He's got to clean up the edge. It's done. Looks good.
All right, that about does it for this video. Um, this was a good amount of work. Uh, Mac and I used to work as carpenters together, so I feel like we have a pretty good flow. We were able to bang this carport together really, really quickly, uh, considering that we bought the material the day we built it and had a torrential rainstorm. We were able to get this thing framed, roofed, and then today we just threw the tarps on the side and made this sort of tarp garage door. The goal is to uh, put rough sawn timber on the side and the back of it to enclose it on three sides, but let air to get to it. Uh, the lumber mill is closed on Sunday, so we weren't able to get the material on this trip, but I think this is a good stopping point to at least keep the machine pretty much sheltered over the next couple of weeks until I'm able to come back up and work a little bit more up here. Um, this is sort of just the beginning in developing this space and being able to actually spend a few days up here is something that I haven't really been able to do and I really wanna do a lot of different things. So to start feels really good and it's super exciting. Um, I met with the excavator about knocking the house down and it's definitely gonna happen soon, but there is a lot of usable material in there and it seems like a waste to just toss all that material when lumber prices are so high and you know, it just seems like a waste of money to throw all that away uh, if there's anything usable out of it. So you notice throughout the video, I was pulling material out from behind the camera. That is actually all material that I got from inside the house. So the house is watertight. Um, we were here during a torrential rain and there's a few spots where the roof leaks, but there's also like a couple of piles of material that's just been sitting in the house uh, for the last 30 years dry. So I used some of that, some two by sixes. We even used a two by 12 out of that. And it was useful and kind of felt good to pull stuff out of there. Actually these four by four posts, we used uh, out of the house. There were some 16 footers in there. Um, and if anybody's tried to buy lumber recently, you know how expensive a uh, 16 foot four by four pressure treated is, especially on the East Coast. So overall, I think we had a really productive weekend. We got a lot of great stuff done. I'm super happy with how it came out. Thank you so much to Macklin for coming out and helping me with this and working in the complete soaking pouring rain with me, which was you know not fun, but we did get to drive the machine around and make some mess. So if you wanna see what I'm doing on a day-to-day -day basis, follow me right here at Make Everything Shop. I was posting while I was up here, showing a little bit of the antics going on while it was uh, downpouring on us and all that. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you wanna see what I'm doing next here at the property, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. I'd like to have a little discussion over in the comments section here on YouTube. If you have any suggestions on what I should do to this property, let me know. I got some big plans. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. And uh, I wish I just had all the money in the world and time to just get up and started today. But you're going to have to wait and stay tuned to see what we do next. So thanks again for watching. I'm Chris Zeff for Make Everything, and I will see you on the next video.